Alright, so welcome to the second part of our tutorial. In the last video, we recreated Darren Senna's iconic login avatar using Figma and Lottie Lab. Now it's time to implement that interactive Lottie into our React project. So in this video, we'll connect the Lottie to our real user input and let's make the Lottie react dynamically as we type, hide, and reveal our password. Very much just like the original, but we're going to implement it a lot simpler and with a lot less of code. And with that being said, let's continue from where we left off and we left off discussing about our states. So over here, we got four different states. We got the blinking state, the following state, the covering state, and the peaking state. But first, let's talk about our blinking state. So over here to our blinking state, this is essentially our idle state. So we're going to use this whenever we're not focusing on any input fields. So that's for the blinking state. And the next state that we have right here is our following state. We are going to transfer to this state whenever we focus on our username input. And this state right here has a custom variable that lets us control its time progress. And the name, the name of that variable is name underscore length. And this variable right here takes in the values of 0 to 1, 0 being the very start of the animation and 1 being the very end of our animation. So that's for the following state. And the next state that we have right here is our covering state. So we're going to switch to this state whenever we focus on our password input. And the very last state that we have right here is our peaking state. We switch to this state whenever we enable our show password. So those are the four different states that we're going to be using for this video. Blinking, following, covering, and picking. Now that we've reviewed them, let's dive right in into our code. All right, so over here to my right is the login code and to my left is the actual is the actual login form itself. It's nothing fancy, uh, it's just like standard HTML over here. And as you can see, I still haven't added in my Lottie. So let's quickly add in our Lottie. So to do that one, first we're gonna install our um, Lottie player. So for that one, it's this npm install at Lottie Lab slash Lottie player. And after installing that one, what we're gonna do next is we are then gonna import our Lottie component. So we say import Lottie from at Lottie Lab slash react. There we go. And over here, let's use that component. Lottie, oops, Lottie right here. And let's define its source. So as for the source, let's go back to our editor and let's quickly grab our Lottie. So export. For this one, I'm going to be using the JSON URL, but you can use your downloaded Lottie as your source reference. For now, just the JSON URL so that we can move fast. All right, there we go. Let's quickly save it. And there we are. We've added our Lottie into our login form. And the thing that we're going to do next is we're going to make this dynamic so that whenever we focus on our input fields, it switches to a different state. So for that one, to control our Lottie, let's set up a ref for it. And let's name that ref as animation ref. There we go. And let's declare that ref right over here. Const animation ref. Use ref as null. Like so. And let's set up a helper function that lets us switch between different states. And let's name that function as switch state. Right here. Switch state. And this state takes in our value name or our state name. And over here, what we want to do for this state is we want to access the current instance of our Lottie. So we call in our Lottie animation ref dot current. And we want to access its interactivity features. We say interactivity, interactivity. Let me just spell that one right. Yep, I spelled that one right. And over here, we're going to use the method of go to state. So go to state. And we want to go to the state that we've defined later. So state name. And as for this one, we want to have a duration of 0.1 to whenever we transition to a different state. There we go. This is our helper function. Now let's create a function that lets us focus on our um, input fields. So for that one, we say const handle. For this one, let's focus first on our username. So handle username focus. And for here, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to call in our helper function, switch state and we want to transition to the state following for the username. There we go. And let's do the same thing for our password. Let me just update the, the name of our function. So it's handle password focus. And over here, we want to transition or we want to transfer to the state covering. Right, lovely. Now that we have those functions, let's quickly add in some event listeners. So as for the username on focus, what we want to call in is the handle username focus. As for the password, on focus, we want to call in the handle password focus. 
like so. So let's quickly save that one and let's review it right here. So our character is blinking at the moment, so yeah. But whenever we focus onto our username, it transfers to this state and our password, it covers its eyes. Lovely. Now let's try to make our animation or this state right here update based on the length of our input. So for that one, let's use the use effect hook. So use effect. And over here, what we want to do is we want to listen to our username. So whenever our username is being updated, what we want to do is we, we want to call in first the current instance of our animation. So we say dot current and we want to access its interactivity features so that we could later call in our custom variable. So our custom variable, we then say inputs and we want to set our custom variable, specifically the name length. Let's update the name length based on the length of our username. So we say username length right here. For this one, let's divide it based on how many characters do we set as the maximum. Let's set 32 as our maximum character. So over here, let's quickly test it out and say, there we go, that works. But if we go beyond 32, as you can see, it goes beyond our defined segment. So for that one, let's just quickly clamp it so that it doesn't go beyond the value of one. So math min over here. Let's wrap it in parentheses and let's drop in a clamp of one. All right, so now it goes beyond the defined segment. Let's quickly reload it and it shouldn't go beyond. So let's type in, all right. So as you can see, even though I've typed in like even more than 32 characters, it stops at the very end of our segment. So there's that for this part right here. Now, the next part that we're going to do is we are going to implement the mm, show password for this one right here. So for that one, what we're going to do is we're going to use the use effect hook. And for this use effect, what we want to listen to is our show password. So whenever our show password is being updated, the function that we want to call in is our switch state. We want the state to be when show password is true. I'm going to use a condition for this one. When show password is true, I want to show the peaking state. Else, I want it to be the covering state. It falls. Covering state. Let's quickly check the spelling. Yep, that's right. And let's review it now. So it's covering. Let's type in some random password and show password. Lovely, that works. All right. So now let's just copy this state right here, or I mean this function right here, and also apply it to our handle password. So that it updates based on to whatever the value is for the show password. All right, cool. So let's review everything. Right, that works. And now what's left to do is just to update. It's to put fields because at the moment we're focusing, but whenever we focus out, it stays to its current um, state. So for that one, we wanted to go back to the blinking state. So let's set up another function right here and let's call that function handle blur. And this handle blur basically just what it does is basically just switches back to the blinking state. But for that one, oops, the blinking state. Blinking state right there. And there we go. Let's add in some event listeners. So on focus, we're just gonna apply it on our username input on blur. We wanna call in the handle blur. Right, lovely. So let's quickly review that one. Let's focus in, type something focus out and goes back to the blinking state all right lovely so let's review everything if it works so let's just put in some gmail.com and on our password type in and then we show yep that works we hide we show all right lovely so yeah and that right there concludes our tutorial on recreating dan senef's iconic login form we've gone from taking our designs from figma to lati lab animated add some interactive states to it, and integrate it inside of our React project. I hope you learned something for this tutorial, and as for the usual YouTube outro, like and subscribe for more tutorials like this, and drop a comment if you have any questions. And by the way, my name is Daryl, see you on the next tutorial.